this particular video is going to be a long interesting and educative one so i will advise you to watch till the end of the teaching hello beautiful people how are you all doing beautiful morning afternoon and evening depending on the time you're watching this video okay um i'm going to talk about i want to do some teaching about uh thickener cellulose thickener used in um in cleaning um hygiene and sanitary even in cosmetic products okay but i want to use this uh, uh, liquid detergent production as a demonstration all right so uh first of all by saying that asking this question what is liquid detergent liquid detergent is a cleaning product in liquid form designed to remove dirt stains and grease from fabrics dishes or even on surfaces okay it is commonly used for laundry and uh, dishwashing like general cleaning okay so please as usual here in this channel put your eye on the screen for those that are coming to uh, across this channel for the first time please put your eye on the screen you're going to um i'm going to write in the ingredients or some of the things i'm saying or doing on the screen so put your eye on the screen while you're also listening to me i would advise you also to get a pen and a paper because i'm going to tell you um things you need to know about thickener here all right so um yeah i haven't said what liquid detergent is now when it comes to thickeners there are cellulose thickeners there are gum thickeners now the one that is always stable that tends to be stable in products like this kind of product is cellulose thickeners okay now when it comes to cellulose thickener when you go to the market to buy your thickeners for those that knows what they are doing not those that will go to the market and say okay give me five liter quantity they will give them without knowing the name of what they gave them okay so for those that will go to the market with their own list uh you'll be hearing something like ginseng cell natural soul aqua cell milo cell junior cell okay now all are cellulose based thickeners or stabilizers which is uh, which is often used in liquid detergents like this one and other home or personal care product okay so i'm going to break down their purposes and how they function in liquid detergent all right so uh number one is um let's say natural so okay natural so functions as a thickener a stabilizer and a suspending agent okay it is used in liquid detergent like it gives the your your liquid detergent a very smooth gel like consistency and it helps suspend ingredients like fragrance and color okay there are some um sometimes when you are making soup if you are i don't know whether you could remember the first time you started for those that you know didn't know about these ingredients when they started but they began to realize or to notice something different okay why they are wide on their journey production journey now when you add fragrance or color you notice that sometimes after like weeks or months the fragrance tends to separate or tend to fade away or the color tends to fade away or the color tends to you know separate a kind of so you using heck which is a uh, uh, natural so like a uh, hydrozeal it is cellulose okay it will help to suspend the fragrance and the color okay sorry remember i said this video is going to be a long one but not that long it's just 15 minutes it's going to be a long one but you get to learn okay so many things now what is it, the percentage usage of heck or natural soap or hydroxyl cellulose you use it as 0.5 to 2 percent depending on the desired viscosity okay in this product that we are uh the, the liquid detergent that we are producing the, the viscosity you want may not be the, 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 the viscosity i want okay that is why when i'm teaching you formulation i'm going to tell you use i'm going to teach you in ranges this is what you're going to use you're not going to use below the range you're not going to use above the, the range okay so depending on the desired viscosity you want that is the thickness you want that should determine the uh use the percentage at which you should use your um natural soul okay now you hear another thickener like uh, aqua cell milo cell ginseng cell gino cell okay they're all various um cellulose ethers now listen they are like like likely brands these aqua cell milo cell ginseng cell gino cell they are all brand names okay or variants of cellulose ethers okay like cmc that's carboxymethylcellulose the you you you, you um 
CMC, HPMC, hydroxypropylene methylcellulose, and MC methylcellulose itself. Now, they're all the same thing. So when you hear aquacellulose agents in cell, genome cell, and any other cell, they are all brand names. They are all brand names. Okay. So what you should um what you should be after is what is okay. What is this? signal what is the name of this signal is it cmc is it hpmc is it mc itself but when you go to tell them aqua cell milo cell ginseng cell geno cell geno aqua cell they have cmc um aqua cell they have hpmc do you understand so what is the functions of this um cmc hpmc and mc okay it is a viscosity control it is a stabilizer. It helps to stabilize your product. It's sometimes used as an emulsifier. Okay. The people that have taught, um, let me say this here. Okay. Because in this teaching, I don't want to hide anything that comes to my head right now. The people, some of the people have taught baking soap, baking soap, like all this Osha Prapra baking bar soap in francophone country in in french countries french speaking countries okay like a uh, uh, Benin republic like a uh, togo like a uh, uh, burkina faso okay i taught them to use cmc in their product because it helps emulsify the product depend because of the type of a particular ingredient they have added or we have added to that baking soup okay so we're adding cmc to it it will help to stabilize it's not going to give up make the soap to separate when you know uh, mixing it to pour into the mold okay like i've said before in i think two videos i've posted before now that production is vast especially in skincare in fact anything production it is vast you don't know it all if you think you are, you've known it all, tomorrow you discover another thing. If you think you've known that one, next tomorrow you discover another thing. All right. So in production, it is vast. Okay. So it is used as a more as an emulsifier, uh, like sometimes. Okay. It is used as a stabilizer and a viscosity control. It controls the viscosity of your product. Okay. Now, um, for liquid detergent, it is it thickens your product formulation especially in a transparent or gel like you understand okay so um having said that like i've said uh natural soul i've talked about natural soul and the geno cell and all that okay for if you don't understand this let me repeat myself again let me start from the beginning okay natural soul is a, it's a cellulose modifier like i said before okay it's soluble in cold water it's soluble in cold water now it is commonly used in shampoos liquid detergents and gels any gel product okay it gives you a smooth and clear texture i think the way i'm saying now to be better understandable like the way i said before okay let me just use this pattern now it is um it gives you a smooth and clear gel in your product okay now the advantage is this it gives you an excellent thickening and suspending power. You know, I said it, it suspends a fragrance and color. Okay. It gives you that, 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 that excellent, um, suspending power. All right. So you're going to use 0.5 to 2% at pH. And it's what I like about it is that it's workable at a wide pH range, like pH three to 10. It is workable. It's not something that after using it, maybe if your product is not, um, uh, it's above the pH that uh, pH 9 or 8 is not going to be stable anymore. It's going to be, uh, you're going to have a separation. Now, coming to Ginsel, 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 like I said before, is a brand name. It's a brand variant. Okay. It's a brand variant. It's, 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 um, the exact composition may vary by manufacturers. Okay. It may vary by manufacturers. So it could be, hey, hey, uh, uh, HEC, which is natural soil, which is hydrozy cellulose. It could be CMC. It could be HPMC based. Okay. Depending on the version. Okay. Depending on the version. Now it is similar to that of natural soil. Like when it comes to functionality, it's similar to that of natural soil and it is used as a thickener in liquid detergent and even in cosmetic products. Okay. Then one thing I want you to note is this. Uh, you would need the technical data sheet to know if it is HEC or another cellulose ether. 
okay you, you need the technical data sheet at tds of this ginseng cell to know if the ginseng cell if it is the heck you are buying or another cellulose ether you know i told you it could be cmc it could be hpmc and distinguishing factor it's mostly regional branding like asia now coming to aquacell aquacell is um likely to be cmc or hpc cmc is carboxymethyl cellulose or hydroxypropyl cellulose okay so it is used as a signal for aquas formulations when it comes to aqua you know uh, i've said here before that aqua means water aquas formulation means a water-based product a water-based formulation a, pro a formulation that contains water in it so aqua cell um is it, it, it can be used as a thickener in aqua in aqua's formulation okay and it's also found in medical dressing like those that into medicals when you're doing medical dressing that's another another topic for another kind of a niche okay so it may not give you a clear like the clarity may not be as clear as that of heck the clarity may not may not be as that of natural soul okay the viscosity is moderate when it comes to salt tolerance now this salt tolerance brings another topic okay this salt tolerance brings another topic in production every topic or every ingredient or whatever you mention it has a lot of um explanation that you're going to bring out of it okay now i've talked about salt tolerance now it is not every thickener that tolerates salt that is why some people when they add salt to their product they will tell you that it becomes watery after some time it is due to the type of thickener they use so when you are using aqua cell aqua cell is not salt tolerance so when you are buying aqua cell and you're going to add salt to that you know to that formulation just know that it's not going to be stable it will separate it will go watery over time okay it's good watery over time but about heck that natural soul contain it can tolerate salt okay so and um, this aqua cell is also budget friendly when you want to make a budget friendly formula uh, or formulation please go for aqua cell it's cheap it's very very cheap very very cheap cheaper than a uh, natural soul okay but it will not give you a clear product at the end so okay coming to the next one which is a uh, uh, milo cell milo cell could be properly metacellulose it could be hp hpmc or similar okay it is also used in cosmetics uh gels in detergents and in, even in personal care products okay now when it comes to stability okay and f um formation like f film formation it is it gives you a high stability and a good film formation okay it can also withstand heat and has a good clarity now some products when you after making it and you keep it like by the window side where sun will be hitting them you notice that some of the products especially this liquid detergent or dishwash some of the products they will go watery over time the color will change the fragrance will fade away okay but if you are using milo cell to if you use milo cell to produce that uh product is going to be tasty but that does not mean that you're going to carry your product and go and keep put it under the sun no okay so milo cell also gives a good clarity now coming to solubility it's soluble in cold water and hot water that's one thing i like about it it's soluble in cold water and salt water you may be asking by now which of the uh, thickness am i using i'm using ginseng cell okay and the ginseng cell i'm using is not heck it's not the natural cell ginseng cell hydroxy cellulose okay now coming to the other signal which is, which is gino cell gino cell like i said before it's a brand name it could be um hpmc it could also be natural so that's heck okay but generally they call all of them natural so but they are not okay now it is used as a thickener and a stabilizer in detergents or even personal care uh, formulas okay it's um comparable to natural soul and ginseng cell so if you want something that you can compare with um to natural soul and um that to heck when i say heck just know that i'm talking of hydroxy ethyl cellulose okay for those that are not in nigeria they don't know natural soul they will go and be asking which is which one is natural so which one is heck so uh gino cell is is, is comparable to heck 
and Jin Shin Cell. Jin Shin Cell. Okay. So um, you need the TDS also to know the exact behavior, to know the exact uh, functionality of this, to know whether you are buying the heck of it or the HPMC of it. But if you have an experienced um, chemical ingredients vendor, okay, the person will be able to tell you, okay, it is um, natural soul, it is heck, it is HPMC, all right? So in summary, in natural soul is hydroxy ethyl cellulose. So the clarity is very high. It's, uh, it has a good salt tolerance. It's commonly used in detergents and shampoos, okay? And it gives a clear and good thickener or thickness, okay? Now, ginseng cell, which can be HEC, CMC, or HPMC, okay? The clarity is medium to high. The salt tolerance, it varies, okay? It varies because if you are using the CMC of it or the HEC of it or the HPMC of it, so the salt tolerance varies okay and uh, it's commonly using detergents and cosmetics products all right now it's a regionary alternative to natural soul if you want something that you can use to you know if you didn't see natural soul you can use ginseng cell okay now the next one is aqua cell aqua cell it could be cmc or hpc the clarity is medium the salt tolerance is lower it is lower it's commonly used in basic cleaners anything cleaning um for those that are using the, their thickeners in their toilet wash for those that are using it in their tire cleaner for those that are using it in whatever they are using in cleaning you know hygiene product you can use it and it's cost effective it's when you're when you're thinking of a cost effective thickener please go for aqua cell now the next one is milo cell milo cell is hpmc is not likely to be cmc or hbec milo cell is hpmc the clarity level is high just like that of um, cellulose the clarity level is high the salt tolerance is good and it's commonly used in cosmetics and detergents products okay and it's it has this um high resistance um yeah it gives you a very uh, high heat resistance and also a smooth gel the next one is genocell genocell is likely to be he h uh heck heck h or hpmc variant okay when you come to junior cell it's it could be heck or hpmc now the clarity is medium to high okay the salt tolerance is also good it's commonly used in detergents and cosmetics products it's comparable to natural zoo as well so with um i think you've learned one or two so like i said before you should take your pen and your paper if you are watching this or you're going to watch this after now Take your pen and your paper to jot things down. Then you take note of the things I've said here. But if you do not understand, please drop your question in the comment section. I'm going to answer you. Okay. Thanks everyone for joining. For the new subscribers, thank you. You are welcome. The old one, I love you all. Thank you for always, you know, watching, tuning in to watch. Okay. So this is the, after I've made the soap, I'm just checking the pH. The pH was not balanced after i made it you know I, I made it and checked the ph it was 10 10.14 or so so i covered it so when i was free again to come to the store to check it i check it again it was still 10 so i adjusted the ph with um an acidic um ingredients and it came down to nine okay you can leave yours at 8.5 or nine but know that this is for a general cleaning you can use it to wash your dishes to mop your floor to clean your surfaces okay but please don't use it to um yeah so so this is it and after i added color the person wanted just pink trouble or different fragrances so i divided it after adding color and i gave the person hope you learned one or two please leave a comment in the comment section for me you know subscribe you know share this video for others to also learn as you've learned thanks everyone for always watching always be safe wherever you are i will surely see you all in my next video. Bye for now.